So doing this video, I, um, I had to put a great deal of thought as to how I was going to put this video together due to the fact that I want to show the utmost respect to the victims. And so this video will be slightly different from our normal jovial look at, at, at football fans and our take on football across Southeast Asia. So I'd just like to start by saying the monetization and everything will be switched off for this video because we are in no way interested in trying to make money from such a horrible tragedy. Um, so really my, my thoughts on the entire situation with Armaya versus Persebaya Surabaya, um, firstly I want to give my deepest condolences to the families and the victims and everyone across Indonesian football. Uh, it's truly a horrendous, horrendous situation um, and a horrible, horrible tragedy. One that I think could have been avoided, but I will go into that later on in the video. Um, for those that don't, uh, that aren't aware, uh, this is possibly one of the biggest football tragedies in the last half a century, century or so. Um, looking at the figures of over 180 now dead many of those that cannot even be identified. And as I understand it, the reason why they've not been identified as of yet is that in Indonesia, ID can be provided to citizens after they are, when they are 17 years old. So therefore that tells me that many of the victims are below the age of 17. So, as if it wasn't bad enough, that's a horrific, horrific uh, toll and my heart truly goes out to those people and to everyone in Indonesian football. The I'm, I'm so angry looking at the video footage. I'm so angry at the police response. I'm so angry at the lack of ownership and admitting mistakes by the police. I'm so angry at the media in the West for cut and paste journalism. And by that, I mean that they are taking news articles, cut and pasting the same articles and then using it on their websites and news outlets. And the details are false. So first of all, it says that there was fans attacking fans where fans clash with each other. That's not the case because there was no Persebaya Surabaya fans in the stadium. So that's the first thing to remember. There was no Persebaya Surabaya fans there. It was fans that had ran onto the pitch. Now, rightly or wrongly, the fans ran onto the pitch. We've seen this in other football matches before. Even my own team, Hibernian, when we beat Rangers in the cup final, our fans ran onto the pitch. But they did not use tear gas to get those fans off the pitch. I should also point out, and this is why I'm so angry at the police, the FIFA rules state that no tear gas and no use of firearms should be allowed into a stadium, let alone them actually using the tear gas inside the stadium. Now, when the fans ran onto the pitch, as I understand it, and I have friends in Indonesia telling me first-hand accounts and second-hand accounts, telling me that when the fans ran onto the pitch, you can see from the, the videos themselves, the police then ran on, which was enough to make many of the fans run away. Those fans ran away into stadiums where many of the doors, the exits were locked so they couldn't escape. There was a stampede of climbing over people. Many injuries and many deaths occurred due to this also. The use of tear gas inside a football stadium, again, let me repeat, this is against FIFA regulations. This is against common sense to be using this. And the police, 
I have to say this, and I cannot say this strongly enough, the police acted like absolute thugs and hooligans. You, they want to blame the football fans on the pitch. This, the police were just as bad, if not worse. Simple as that. I understand and can clearly see why many Indonesian football fans hate the police. Hate them. Now, you shouldn't be like that with the police, and the police should be there to help you, not to murder your children. No one should be going to a football game and not coming home because of the actions of others. Sure, the fans shouldn't have ran onto the pitch. However, we've also heard that 3,000, 4,000 were brought into the stadium that didn't have tickets. This is down to the management of the stadium. The PSSI seriously need to be working with the AFC and FIFA to have better management inside the stadium. This should also be the case in Vietnam and across Malaysia and across many of the countries in Southeast Asia. This was an accident waiting to happen and unfortunately it has happened. What I will say in ending, let us please, please, please hope that all these horrendous, horrible deaths do not just happen in vain. Let us hope that something is learnt by this and these deaths do not just go aside and forgotten about. Let us hope that this is the last time that we see something like this inside a football stadium or outside a football stadium for that matter. Let us hope for better stewarding, better policing and better accountability. This is over to you AFC and this is over to you FIFA and this is over to you Indonesian government. Change things for the better and look after your citizens. This cannot be allowed to happen again. And again, my heart goes out to everyone in Indonesia. I, I'm lost for words and so I would rather just leave in silence. Be, just, yeah, thank you.